Ben. In honor of Black History Month, KVU is honoring trailblazers right here in Central Texas. And tonight we introduce you to history maker Dr. Lori Fluker, who's one of the first black professors at Texas State University. KVU's Darnisha Heron has more about her achievements and hurdles she's faced becoming the first of many. What makes a story good? Yes, it serves a purpose. All right, so it's got to get the message across. We have a purpose in our lives, and our lives' stories make a difference. All right. The story I'm about to tell you has all of those elements. In fact, it's one for the history books. Again, my name is Laurie Fluker. That's a tough one, by the way. Uh, and I've been here since 1989 at Texas State. Which was Southwest Texas State University at the time, the Houston native, was hired on as a professor in the Department of Journalism to teach electronic media. And although it had been 25 years since the Civil Rights Act of 1964 made it illegal to discriminate on the basis of race for hiring, university officials confirm Fluker became one of the first black female professors at Texas State University. The number of African-American professors, you could I think you could add them all on one hand. You know, the assumption is that if you're here and you're one of only a handful, you're here to meet a quota. And so certainly there, there may have been some of that along the way, uh, some assumptions that were made that I'm only here because I'm female and I'm black. Fluker's resume, proudly displayed in her office, proves otherwise, earning a Bachelor of Science for History and English, a Master's of Fine Arts for Broadcast Journalism, and a Doctorate in Philosophy for Radio, Television, and Film. And if you'll notice on the Wiley College degree, my father signed my degree because he was president of the, of the college at the time. Wiley, a historically black college in East Texas, where Fluker started the mass communication program. The same college, her father and grandfather earned degrees. Uh, my grandfather was the son of a slave. And so he was one of the first blacks in the state of Texas to get a degree and get a teaching certificate. So paving the way through education is her family's way. This is my family. I've got twins and an older son. These two are double graduates of Texas State. This is one of the, the largest honors that Texas State gives, and it was one of my first, the Teaching Award of Honor. Fluker is the first black person chosen for this award, and she's received countless others since then. There's my Academy of Television Arts and Science Foundation. Those are the folks that give the Emmys away. But the ones that mean the most are chosen by her students. My students are some of the best that I could ever ask for. And that's what makes this such an enjoyable uh, occupation for me, is that every Tuesday, I don't, I don't need a, an alarm clock. I wake up on my own. Today, Fluker is the Associate Dean in Texas State's College of Fine Arts and Communication and the Associate Professor vibrantly teaching hundreds of mass comm students every semester. Well, I'm in a movie with Denzel. If he had given me a second look, I was going to leave my husband. <laughs> Never had to worry about it, he did not. With over 35 years of making sure her students feel seen, heard, and prepared. Am I assuming Louisiana somewhere in there? All right, Ed, baby, that's New Orleans. All right, here we go. <laughs> so, if you want to know what makes a great story, <laughs> Talk to the woman who's living one. I love that. Lori says she loves the institution and her students. She has no plans on leaving either of them anytime soon. She actually said you're going to have to drag her out on a gurney. <laughs> <laughs> and Lori has created a lot of successful journalists. I don't know if you guys saw a little photo of Hannah Rucker and our very own Quita Culpepper. Oh, Lori is my icon. Yes. She's, she's incredible. She, she helped write my story. Yes, awesome woman. And when I was sitting in her classroom, I was like, man, she makes me want to go back to school because she's so good. <laughs> she really does. I know. So it was great telling this story. Thank you, Darren. Thanks, Darren. Great story. Thanks.